lot of parents record their child's first day of school, but our next guest recorded his daughter's first day of school every year from kindergarten through high school. Ooh. Take a look at this. Coloring. Coloring. What else did you do? Um, writing. Writing. Did you learn anything? Uh. That's good. I sit next to the girl that made the silly face in my picture. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. What's your name? Kayla. What was your favorite thing that you did today? Playing with Mackenzie. Playing with Mackenzie. There's another Mackenzie in your class? Yep. Do you have um, a lot of homework tonight? Yes? I'll have more than that, though. That's just the beginning. This is just today's homework? Yeah. I love my ice cream. Good. And what else is new about this year? What's your shirt say? Oh, student council. Do so you like being on student council? Yes. What did you have to do this morning? Greet everybody and see if they need help going to their classrooms. And who is your teacher? Mrs. Corbin, can we get to eat in class? What momentous thing happened today? I we went to junior high. You went to junior high, which is? It's not that big of a deal. Seventh grade. Yeah. Well, Daddy had a hard time with you uh, going today, because I know this is like your last year, and then next year you're going to be in high school. So I'm proud of you, but Daddy's a little sad. And what grade are you in this year? Ninth grade. Ninth grade, which makes you a? Freshman. Freshman. All right. Not like riding the bus. No, that's right. You rode the bus today. But you survived your first day of high school. Yeah. And you rode the bus. Big day. Big day. And what are you uh, most excited about this year? Um, football games. Football games. All right. And what was the thing you were doing today? What were you looking for? Looking for the cute boys. Looking for cute boys. Nice. Um, what are you looking forward to the most this year? Sleeping in tomorrow. Nah. No, seriously, what are you looking forward to the most about going to this new school? Really, that I can sleep in a little bit. Really? Yeah. Okay. What are you looking forward to this year? Your senior year. Prom. Prom. And graduation. And graduation. Okay. I love you, sweetie. Love you, too. Congratulations. Thanks. I love you, sweetie. Love you too. All right, right. I love you. Love you too. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> love you. Love you too. I love you. Love you. I love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Hey. Again. I love you. Love you. Bye bye. Love you. Love you. Bye. I love it. how precious. Mackenzie's dad, Kevin, is joining us on Skype from his home in Seattle, Washington. Hey, Kevin. Hi, everybody. I love the videos, that's so wonderful. Thank you, thank you very much. Where did the idea come from? Um, I'm a sentimental guy and I knew that, you know, you've got your kids for this amount of time in your life and I just wanted to capture something that when they are gone from the house and on to bigger and better things that my wife and I could just sit back and enjoy the journey a few more times. What do you think is the most meaningful thing about all of this for you? you know, life's about moments. So you want to enjoy them and not rush them uh, and just kind of be grateful for that moment that you have. And, and uh, I watch this video often and I'm very, very grateful for that. You're awesome, man. That's very sweet. Now, just to give you guys a scope of the size of this video, is, uh, how viral, it's 80 million views on YouTube. So Mackenzie's hairstyles has been seen by many people. Uh, the world! <laughs> Yeah, people have been, uh, like news broadcasts and other um, things on Facebook have, have picked it up and so it's gotten viewed by tens of millions of people and she was taking a final in December and in the middle of the final, true story, in the middle of the final, this girl leaned over and says, hey, you're, you're that girl, you're that girl in the video. And my daughter was like, uh, yeah, I gotta finish my final, but yeah, I <laughs> yeah. am. I imagine this, a video like this inspires other dads. Like, I want to take a video. I have a video of my, my, my first son lying on my chest as a newborn, and I want to take that picture until he's, like, 50. So he's actually lying on, <laughs> just, like, sprawled out, <laughs> swaddled, just him swaddled. <laughs> like it might that. get a little awkward. Uh, no, 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 no. That's us. You. That's our family. That's it's, our last name's awkward. Hey, it's perfect. That's <laughs> your world. You do you. Good but it, do, do fathers come up to you all the time and are like, dude, man, first of all, you made me cry. Second of all, I want to do this now with my kids. I, you know, I think the thing that's been most interesting to me about this video is I'm, so I'm just this guy, right? I, you know, I live in the Pacific Northwest and, 
And this is this is something that I've captured with my family. But there's parents that are doing cool stuff with their kids all the time. It, it's just I was fortunate enough to capture mine on video. And my encouragement to parents is, is look, it's 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 not about being on YouTube. It's not about um, you know this little fleeting fame. It's about showing up in your kids' lives and, and yeah. you show up every day and you show up in those moments and you just be there. I mean, that's right what it really is all about. Absolutely.